Hey guys, welcome to Tactic Almost. Today I want to talk about a product that is new to me. It is the Cloak series of suppressor inserts. From Rage Custom Airsoft, also known as RC Airsoft. The RC Airsoft website claims to reduce the sound of suppressors quite significantly. So I thought I would get some and test them out and I'll let you guys see the results here. Also, before I go any further, I should say check your local laws before messing around with mock suppressors and filling them full of quieting stuff. This is a very contentious issue in the United States airsoft community. A lot of people will say it's technically illegal to add any sort of quieting decibel reduction to a mock suppressor, just as it is illegal to own a suppressor that you haven't registered with the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Personally, I feel like if a government agency is cracking down on me for having a mock suppressor for BB guns that is quieted a little bit, then I'm probably in trouble for some other things that I did, which I don't know what those would be. But the suppressor being part of it, probably not that big a deal. Surely an added felony of some sort, but I honestly feel like most government agencies have a lot bigger fish to fry than whether or not some nerd puts a little bit of foam in a fake tube that would explode instantly if it were put on a real gun, but whatever. Anyway, with that out of the way, hopefully this will be a quick video and I won't ramble on too much. I'll let the results speak for themselves. I tried to test with these two suppressors in a number of different ways. This is a Knight's Armament replica suppressor. Don't know where it came from, but it did include these foam inserts. So you'll see me talk about CAC, K-A-C, Knight's Iron Company inserts. That, that's these. And then this is the suppressor. And I was also very interested in testing out this new Surefire Silcom 556 replica suppressor. And I should know a little of the brand for that, but I don't off the top of my head. So it'll, it'll show up somewhere. This suppressor actually came with some strange included internals kind of have this spring doing nothing really pushing up on this plunger which was just pushing the shaft and then the end of the suppressor here it's just like that um not totally sure what the purpose was that's how it came into the united states and that's that's something anyway nice to have a little spring to add a little uh, pressure or attention to anything you want to do with your suppressor but let me talk about what i actually did i did quite a bit of testing on this, a lot of analysis of the footage. And if I didn't share it with you guys, I would just be a crazy person who did a bunch of experiments for no reason. So all the testing I did with my trusty Wolverine MTW mil spec with a 10 inch barrel and an inner barrel that's about 260, 280 millimeters. It comes right up to the end of the threads but does not protrude past the flash hydrant by any means. So this is the basis for all the testing that you will see. I started without a flash hider attached and then progressively added flash hiders and suppressors and different internals from there. I will leave you th with the results. I will quickly show not only the results of the sound at the muzzle, but the sound downrange about 50 feet. Unfortunately, a lot of the audio spikes are from actually the BB impacting the target. I tried to have a quiet target that when hit wouldn't make a bunch of noise. It was a towel hanging loosely with no backing, but somehow it made an insane amount of noise. I don't know how that happened. So unfortunately that kind of mutes the sound of the actual gun firing, but I can't reshoot all that footage. So it is what it is, but I think you'll be able to tell the sound of the report of the gun. I was also sort of worried about automatic audio leveling that I wouldn't be able to control. So I tested everything with a loud tone behind it just to make sure there was a constant tone throughout. That footage ended up being pretty annoying to watch and listen to just because there's this loud sine wave frequency going in the background the entire time. But I can say that the effect is not that much different. I personally don't notice any audio leveling happening in the footage that you will see, so I provided that instead. I ended up getting the cloak 32 millimeter, also minus half a millimeter, up to six inch kit. I think it was about $20 or $25, and it includes several different baffles or whatever you want to call them. They're not baffles, they're pieces of foam that are laser cut. 
and instructions on the best way to sort of stack these apples or foam inserts to get the most optimal audio reduction in this surefire suppressor i was only able to manage about three and a half inches of foam because quite a bit of the suppressor is taken up by the four prong flash hider that it goes over so you know there's not that much room for foam with the knight's armament suppressor i managed to have about four and a half inches of foam which aided in the sound reduction quite a bit the instructions also say that you can kind of just play around with stacking these in different ways to optimize the audio reduction i just kind of did what the instructions said and didn't change it very much it's going to quiet the report quite a bit and any sort of optimizing of that is sort of spending too much time thinking about how to optimize that is kind of a waste of time i think but if you're into that play around with it to your heart's content there are infinite combinations of these foam inserts to get whatever desired effect you want so without further ado i will show you the footage and then come back with the conclusion i will also have the video bookmarked so you can skip to the conclusion if you don't care about the actual footage but i do recommend it honestly using your ears is the best way to gauge this sort of thing so i encourage you to listen in anyway take a look take a listen double season. Pay attention to the initial spike in each of the spike groups. That's the sound of the report of the rifle. The second larger, more constant spike on all of these is the sound of the BB hitting the target. I've tried to quickly display here the loudest sound is any spike that exceeds the red on the top and bottom, and the quietest sound falls within the green field. So in conclusion, you can see or hear that the more cloak inserts that you have, the better. The quietest iteration I came up with was the Knight's Armament Suppressor with the four and a half inches of cloak inserted. Honestly, that's kind of what I expected. The more foam you have, the more sound reduction you're going to get, basically. And the cloak inserts were surely the best inserts for quieting both suppressors. However, the Ace Tech tracer unit which is just a cylinder about this big ended up being surprisingly quiet as well i'm not sure why but that was kind of surprising and interesting that the ace tech also managed to quiet things quite a bit even though it's a tracer unit not designed to make things quieter so that's cool 
that was surprising news. All in all, I'm pretty happy with these cloak inserts and I will continue to use them. I do think while you could totally DIY this and get your own foam and cut your own cylinders and, and holes in them, the laser cut foam from Rage Custom for the cloak series is actually very nicely done. It is very clean looking. It is very precise. There are not only holes in this direction, but there are also some little holes in this direction. I think they're pretty cool. They seem pretty durable too. These random Knight's Arm inserts kind of feel like a open cell foam that will kind of smash over time, while these feel kind of more durable. And the guy who makes these spend a lot of time and research to find a good foam, and I'm happy to pay $20 to get a nice laser cut clean product. That seems to perform really well without having to do a bunch of my own crazy research on foam materials and stuff. So guys, with that, hope this video was helpful. Hope it was informative as always. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave me a comment if you have anything to talk about. I always try to respond to the comments. And have a good one. Bye.